got stuck at work today, so pretty quick stream before I have to run off to uh, bowling. Um, depending on how quick the game goes uh, and I actually get into queue, I might not have time to do the review, um, which is, if that's the case, I might do it later tonight or uh, at the beginning of tomorrow, so we'll see. All right. Oh, it takes forever. There's only four tables going right now. And the highest person is a nine dawn. So, wait, 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 turns on background music. Only 12 people playing now. <laughs> so that means someone's game finished, so hopefully they'll jump back in. Maybe not. <laughs> so lonely. I would jump down to go play Tokujo, but that's no fun. Ho is a lot more interesting. Why is Q taking so long? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, it went up to two. After five minutes of waiting, it went up to two. So three people. So close. One more. And back to the three. <laughs> or back to two. Surely there are four players to play a game of Mahjong. It's like almost 9 a.m. in Japan, too. There we go. Yeah, not a bad team either. Hey, Minasan, Yoroshiku no Yashimas.
home. Home. Now I could open up this hand in order to stop that, but do I want to? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> if it was this, uh, if it was this shape, probably not. But that's not bad. Hmm. Plus, I didn't call the Dora. And they just dropped the Dora. Home. Home. Hmm. Eat. Wow, this is perfect! I was just reading up today on tips uh, to defend against double reach. So it's basically stating if you have, like, threes and fours are actually... Uh, da, 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 da. So, like, anything from three to four is uh, about the same, and so even if you have, like, a Suji, um, three, seven, it's about the same safety as like a half a suji uh, for anything between there as well, because they can't choose their shape, and so all shapes are equal in this case. And then of course lone ones and uh, nines are pretty good. Of course, any can, anything can technically deal in. You're just trying to try your best to play the stats not to deal in. Hey, that's cool. Technically, two Shantan? No, technically, one Shantan. Hmm. Simo. Yeah, see? It's a seven! <laughs> Not that that proves anything, but... <laughs> hmm. So that's not to say that threes and sevens are more dangerous than, like, fours, fives, or sixes. It's just saying that they're as dangerous as four, fives, and sixes. And so, for instance, with, like, a four or a five or a six, or a three or a um, seven... You have the same amount of shapes uh, that can basically be waiting on uh, those different weights. Because that's the case, if you, let's say, have a Suji of, I don't know, let's say a 6 is out, and then also, let's say, a 1 Sozu is out, and you have two 4 Sozus in your hand, and you have one, like, 3 of whatever 6 was thrown, uh, should you throw the 4 first, or should you throw the, uh, the 3 first? In that case, you should throw the 4 first, because the 3 and the 4 are still equally dangerous um, to a double reach. Uh, but because you have two of the 4s in that situation, the 4s are actually a little bit safer. Which is kind of cool. <laughs> It was funny. Uh, today I was reading uh, Asapin's book, and I was at that section, and I'm like, man, when, when's the next time I'm going to see, uh, you know, another double reach? I just saw one last week. And it's like, well, actually, you're going to see it today. Home. Oh. 
If a 6 comes out, I kind of want to open up this hand. It's still pretty far away, though. Uh, yeah, kind of want to... Ninth turn? Now this is safe for both this person and this person. They like Sozu. It's their favorite color. Hmm. Now, do I want to feed them so they maybe fight with them? That wouldn't be that bad. Oh, They couldn't take it. Or here. Uda three, Uda one. So this shape right here is actually a Ryankan shape. So it's like an extended Ryankan shape. Um, so a normal one is like 2, 4, and 6, where you can take in a 3 and a 5. But this shape right here is like an extended one where I can take in a 3 or an 8, and then get rid of uh, the remaining one. Mm, do I want to pull in here? Maybe, maybe not. That's tempting. I don't know if this is good. Hmm. That's kind of iffy.
hey, that's kind of cool. Should I rely on that? Might not be that bad an idea. Eat. Ipatsumo! And give him two Ura. Or at least one. That's cool. Alright. So everyone gets their nice big Richie with their delicious Uradora. Alright, where's mine? <laughs> I'm due for one, right? That's how Mahjong works, I think. Hmm. Don't know about this. I think this hand actually fulfills Toy Toy Dash requirements, which would be kind of interesting. Home. Let's go for it. Kansu Dash. Now the real question is, if I do pawn this, which is a better weight, the Haku or the Nine So? I'm starting to think the Nine So is probably a little bit better, actually. Hmm, no call on the Haku though. Oh, there we go. Okay, Nine So it is. Perfect. Seven 
6,400 points. Toy Toy Dash. Tuno! Tuno is the guy that makes and owns Tenho. So if anything ever goes bad, you just scream his name to let him know. Now the real question is, should I con here? If a Haku comes out? Maybe it's not that bad of an idea. Eight. Actually, wait, does that actually move me forward? 16. Oh, this is kind of dangerous. 4, 2. And I have a Tonky. So it does actually move me up. So maybe I should call Khan. <laughs> hmm. Are people defending? It looks like it. Oh, he was fishing. That's a bigger hand than I thought. Dora, Dora. Unfortunate. Alright, three hands to go, and look! Pairs! Except this one does not fulfill the criteria for Toy Toy Dash. Unfortunate. Hmm.
Beat. Beat. Run! <laughs> I am safe for the current moment in time. Let's see. Should I call this? I should maybe call this. If I do not end up getting my pair, this is a very nice shape to get my pair. Ooh, maybe I should call that. Ooh, maybe I should do that. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, south 3, 0, third turn. Hmm. <laughs> yep, this game is very, uh, very firm on, uh, your choices. Hmm. What's more important here, a win or Dora? Probably a win, but if I happen to get Dora, then I should take it. But if I get this first, I'm going to drop the Dora for the three side weight. And if that happens, I'm going to drop the Dora. So I can improve over here for any call. So I can call a one, a four, um, I can call, can I call a seven? I can call a seven, I can call a three, I can call a six. Call a nine. I can call any of this stuff over here. Uh, the only thing I can't call in this shape is uh, 258. <laughs> uh, let's not do this. Mm -hmm. Eight turn. Uh, if I wasn't dealer, maybe. If I had tempi, maybe. If I had any reasonable safe tiles aside from running to tempi, maybe. I got 99 tiles to call and I can't find one. <laughs> hmm. One, one so left. But, let's take that, three-sided weight. Currently, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or six tiles. That's not bad. Hey. Hmm. So now it puts them in a little bit of a rat race, but uh, we'll see. If someone gets a big sumo right now, that's going to be very, very fun going at Oras. Very, very fun. Best situation for me is if someone wins a quick hand or if I can win a pretty decent hand. Worst situation, of course, is ideal into someone with the cool dama of Chunanko. That would be pretty bad. So I gotta be a little bit careful, watch the board, look for anything too suspicious. Bit unsure here. I don't want to drop the tone because I really want to leave the chance of me opening up this hand as a possibility still. 
which Yakuhai is basically the only thing I can go with to open up at this point. Tanyao seems too far. Itsu seems unreasonable. And maybe just jumping for Tempai actually might be a consideration here. Especially with the shapes that I have right now. But there's a couple things I will not call just in case uh, things go horribly wrong, so I don't want to call like up one of these. I should probably get rid of this soon. Which do I think is safer? Lag. Someone's holding two of those, I bet. Hey, that's nifty. Hmm. I can't get Pinfu with this shape though, so if I can get Tanya, I mean, if I get Tempai on these calls, I'll probably take it. Because Yukoku is coming up. Now, I might be folding this hand if something goes up. Uh, and I still can't see any Doro whatsoever, so this is not that great of a situation. Hey, hey, I can't drop that tile. That's cool. Now, I could still um, jump around and get into Tempai, uh, but we'll see. Currently, I have a couple of tiles that I'm willing to throw to them. The five, uh, the seven, and the eight. But I gotta look at the other two people. Because I still have any idea where that Dora is. And if someone gets... Hey, that's cool. That's kind of scary. That's pretty scary. Okay, now it's a lot less scary. So, looks like they're fighting for Tempai. So I should probably fight for Tempai too. Maybe. Hmm... Suji 3 so. Uh, probably so the 6 here. I'm not willing to throw the 7. But if I get Senpai with this right here or a pair right here, I'll probably just throw the 3. That's not Tempai, so let's try to fold. I don't think I have anything safer than the 7. I'm kind of still worried about these two, but I guess that's okay. One person Tempai. Alright, so now we are in a situation where if we win a quick 1,000 point hand, we are very happy with ourselves. If we deal into a mongon to someone, we are not happy with ourselves. So let's try to end the day being happy with ourselves. Hmm. So I can, I have four pretty solid reasonable, ooh, I can get five solid reasonable blocks now in Tanyao. Yeah. Let's do this. So this guy is the same, they just want to win a 1,000 point hand. There's 1,600 points on the board. Um, and either of these two, they just want to win a hand. Uh, the game will keep going into west if that happens. Ideally, they can win a big enough hand to end the game, but that's not always guaranteed. So let's see. If I get a 6 right here, that'll make the rest of the hand pretty easy to open up for Tanya. Though I might call before that. Um, for a regular hand, I'm still two-way, and then, hey, that's cool. Hmm. So yeah, I'm kind of like locking in my Tanya path right now. So four, seven, six are calling. Um, eight and especially six, I would call. These are like the two big uh, necks that I have on this hand. And then also I need to fight for Tempai. Ooh, there we go. Just in case they're not in Tempai, that would end the game with me in first place. But, once again, I have to be careful not to overextend myself. The door is really easy to use, and someone can have a Mongon, which, if I get hit directly by a Mongon, actually, it's not that bad. It won't give me last place, 
Unless it's this person. That would give me last place. Or would it? No, it wouldn't, because they actually don't have enough points to get first. Okay. Ha 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 ha! Yeah. Uh, no, no conning here. We don't want more Dora on the field. Less Dora, the better. There we go. Technically Tempai. So now if I get a four, if I can call anything on this shape, um, to improve my shape, I will. Um, three's not that bad, I guess. That's kind of by the door, though. But I have Tempai for first place, so... Kind of want to push. Oh, dang it! I should have called that. I wasn't thinking. <sighs> South 428 Service. Hey, look. Gee. So if they're in Tempai, and I'm in Tempai, they'll get first place, but that's okay. I guess, as long as I give myself a chance at the first place, how dangerous is that tile? Someone could have a Dama Mong on here, if it's the dealer, I'd be especially very, very sad. But it's like, guaranteed potential first place right here. Ugh. <sighs> When you fight the unknown, you pray that it's not as bad as you think. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I got a first, and I got some time left over too, so I can go and look at my notes for the review, so let's see, I'll have to do it pretty quick though. So yeah, speed review after this uh, stream ends, so see you then.